Hi. Come on in. Hello, Daisy Liz. Hello, everybody. Come on in. We are healing. Do you feel it? Like the earth is healing and we have so much work to do. And I on an individual level and all of us together. Oh, thank you. I got my, you know, it's when you get your hair cut and my hair person's finally back at work. And I had to go in today. Stud Muffin and I went and she called us in from the car and we had to wear masks and everything was, we did the color and everything with masks on. And it was fantastic. We worked together. It was collaborative. Thank you. This is thanks to, I don't know if she's going to tune in here. Um, Envy Artistry. Her nan name is Nancy Villalpando. And I found her right when I moved to the desert. And I had to live with <laughs> my hair for all those weeks, like all of us. And now here we are. And I decided to chop it all off because it feels great. And I feel great. A lot better than last week. Thanks to, hi, Lianca. Um, I feel so good uh, because I'm getting schooled for, I have so many things I want to talk about. Where do I start? Because it's like, what's going on there? We're starting, we have a movement now that's, I'm so hopeful and optimistic. And I want you all to stay away from conspiracy shit and just look at what's happening. I'm so proud of my son, Jake, who marched yesterday. Oh, he always makes me cry. Wait, I have to go like this because I'm shaking hair off of my shirt too. Thank you, Eileen Enchanted. <laughs> Yeah, she did that. I can't do that. I need somebody with me. I need a stylist. Nancy did that. Um, I'm proud of everybody who marches. I would be marching except Sud Muffin is like terrified. So I'm marching in the house. I'm marching with all of you. And I just, um, I think this is an amazing time for the world and I'm excited. And the reason what happened is a couple of things. Hi Dana Dentata. Oh, a couple of things. So one, I woke up a couple of days ago and this eye, which you can't see it now, it was like pink. And I thought, what am I not seeing? Because what, what do, when our eyes, when something happens, what do I need to look at? What am I looking at too hard? Like what's causing that? And I think that that's a, hi Celine, I think that's a really important thing when things happen. I always think there's no accident. And what I was looking at too hard that I didn't need to was all the conspiracy theories about everything about the police and about the National Guard and about the deep state all of that Pizzagate all of that stuff when I stopped and I took myself up like this which I want you all to do it healed it's healing also last night Diego and I I don't know if he's going to join in here we did the first part of the soulmate meditation we have one more next Sunday this yeah, last night's was about removing Akashic blockages and a lot of you joined us and thank you and it's eleven dollars if you want to DM me for next Sunday is going to be about removing blockages in this life in this lifetime to romance and I saw in my meditation last night I have I I have soulmate was my 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 stud muffin was my soulmate my last lifetime too but i had three other soulmates that i know in this life and i saw them and one of them was a woman i was oh my god <laughs> which is fantastic because i know this person in this lifetime and it's a, actually so it's really interesting and two of them were like family members who knew? See how we, we're all, we travel through time. So it's fas fascinating. But I don't have really past life blockages because I found my soulmate in this life. Stud Muffin and I hooked up again. Next life, I don't know. Maybe we'll take that one off. So if this Sunday, if you're interested, like I said, it's about people that we have blockages with in this life. The other thing that happened, and we're doing another meditation on June 21st about all the retrogrades. And I just put a thing up on that in my... Um, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't surprise you. Hey, you know, no. hey, listen, I put a thing up on my Instagram for two Sundays from now for there's all these Merc Mercury retro, all these retrogrades are going on. And Diego is doing a meditation on how to cope with all of that. Read about that there. Anyway, I want to take questions from you. And the other thing I want to say, oh, so yesterday I watched a YouTube video of somebody having a breakdown because she was going crazy from all of the, like, the world is falling apart. The world is falling apart. And, you know, one of the reasons I love the tower card, the falling tower card, is because when things deconstruct, we can reconstruct. 
and everybody listen to me we are reconstructing something and we have to stay with it and it's beautiful and I'm <laughs> I'm telling that mosquito to go away <laughs> but one one step at a time so we keep marching and we keep changing and it's more than it's black lives matter but it's not just saying it it's not just putting up the posts the black posts and it's schooling yourself like I'm doing like I'm reading like I didn't even know the subtle racism in me and it's like amazing so I'm learning all of this and we're this is an opportunity for all of us it's fantastic it's fantastic so let's join together one foot in front of the other yes a uh, daisy Liz, do i think you'll be married next year okay so today i chose the dolly deck again oh my hair really does look good wait let me take a closer look daisy Liz, do you think i'll be married again oh do you think i'll be married next year i just said do i think you'll be married again you might have two marriages in this lifetime, Daisy Liz. Wouldn't that be something? Oh, my God. Okay, put your questions in the box. Uh, John Chung, this is too big a question. So I make it smaller and put it in the box. Okay. Daisy Liz, let's see who your first husband is. What does this say? Judgment. Oh, look at judgment. I see two people walking away from each other. El Juicio. Oh, 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 oh. We're going to have a juicy, yes. You're going to be married. Yeah, you'll be married. And your first husband is juicy. So he's juicy. Think of like a think of like a Ralph's chicken, like a Ralph's roasted chicken that's juicy. He's juicy. Yeah, and that's in 2021. But you might have a second marriage. Okay. Um, I'm going in here. Let's go to Jake. What is the best way for me to engage responsibly as an aspiring ally to the communities I'm passionate I think you want to say that you're passionate about what is the best way for you to engage I you know what the first card that's going to show up but I know what this is and I can feel it right here is the hermit so when I I said this is the hermit for me that's going inside the best way for you to engage is to go inside and look at what am I not giving out there. I have to, it's an inside job. It's an insight job. What am I not giving out there? And then, ooh, the judgment. This is a big card. The second thing I want to say for you, Jake, is don't be so hard on yourself. Because when I see the hermit and judgment, I didn't think I was going to say this. I thought I was going to say something else for you. Because the best way for you to engage is freely and openly without fear of judgment. Because sometimes maybe you go out there and you worry too much about what people think of you because you're holding things in. So just be yourself and know that you're showing up in the world is amazing and you're a gift to the world. <sighs> Look, the Empress, that card I pulled last week, that's the female, that's the divine female energy that we're seeing for the future that's going to be like, not i'm not discounting you men in this room i love you guys this is about female energy coming to heal the earth like think of like mother earth and jake that's part of your energy as well because we pulled that card for you so this is about not worrying again how people are looking at you just being just your presence is so much you're a gift that's what i want to say you're a gift um hi chrissy wait let me see what you i i always will answer for you chrissy um see anything for me about home buying love you hey her opinion matters if you want to know what's coming for love you should do the workshop on sunday because it'll release blockages from this life it's diego's very powerful okay um surely see anything for me about home buying Ooh, the lover's card look at this there's the lover's card this is what I see. I see that you and your, is he your fiance, your boyfriend, your husband? You have a partner in this and you both have to like it, but he's going to defer to you. And when I said that, I saw this beautiful little green garden and it, it was so pretty. It was almost like I see in your mind, like that white house with the picket fence and there's the green grass behind and maybe there's a cat back there or a dog, but there's like a couple of animals there and kids. I think definitely I think that I'm hearing that you're gonna start looking at homes now and I'm hearing that within like I want to say we're going into retrograde now and this is not a good time to buy a house but then again if you if you're like I have this kid who doesn't believe in any retrograde any anything so he never has a problem because he doesn't believe in anything so he just goes okay I'm gonna do this and nothing's gonna happen and it doesn't but you're not like that but maybe you are a little bit and maybe that's why I'm saying that so I was gonna say do it within six months 
by the end of the year. Um, yes, that's all I got on that. But I saw, I see the house, but I don't know when. But yeah, okay, <laughs> okay. Um, oh, and here's I love Raven, New York. What do my guides want me to know this week? What do they want you to know this week? Hang on one second. What do your guides? I don't think I've ever answered a question for you. Oh. Okay. The Fool. New Beginnings. Now, Raven New York is a intuitive in New York, and she does amazing things. You should follow her because she takes random cards and she puts them all around New York, and she tells little stories. She's so cool. So now she's asking me for guidance, and what I see is the fool, and I say, your guides are telling you, be open. That's what we have to do. We have to start going from this place of feeling like guilty and feeling all these feelings that we feel about everything that's going on, and we have to stay woke. We have to stay woke and that means I'm open for whatever comes and I walk straight and I don't I stay in that place of love and not fear I always come from love I actually had a dream about it and now I can't remember the dream but it was all about love I'm going to love that's all we have to do is love so when we see a situation where somebody's not being treated well we have to take part in it and we have to go treat that person well like we're treating we're kindness kindness love the fool card just go out there and conquer it oh one last thing uh one last thing raven because i'm looking at this card and it says dress colorfully and that looks like a serapi so you may be going to mexico <laughs> you may be going to mexico like within the year to travel <gasps> that could mean we're traveling again Ooh. <laughs> okay let's see um i have something to say to my ex today he hurt me really bad a few days ago. Is this a good idea? If you have an ex and he hurts you really bad, I'm going to say this without pulling a card, why do you ever want to talk to the motherfucker again? Bye. Now, if you can't help yourself, you could write it on a piece of paper and wait a few days, but you should be with somebody who wants to be with you as well, right? So if it's an ex, why waste your energy on an ex? Because that's going to see, that's gonna be like, that's gonna bring you down. And that's what we don't wanna do. That's what I realized when I watched this YouTube thing yesterday. I was like, oh, this person's in fear and this person's like, no, I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be with any negative energy. No negative energy. Your ex has negative energy temperance and balance that's what you want in your life look how beautiful oh look how beautiful you are look at that card it's amazing this card comes from mike i don't know if he's he gave it to me for christmas mike mackadan i don't know if he's watching tonight you need somebody that brings temperance and balance in your life that's what i want to say so so write about write it and she's holding a drink so like have a little glass of wine write your words put them away in a drawer and don't 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 just do it we all deserve to be, we all should be loved. I don't even think it's a matter of deserve because that's like de-serve. I think we all should just be loving and we'll be loved. That's, it's that simple. And we all come in with life lessons and don't waste your energy on somebody who's like, fuck you, like what? Okay, that's what I have to say. Sorry for the cursing. Um, there you go. Jake Weinrob says, write a letter with everything you want to say and then burn it, burn it, burn it. Marat. Okay, I'm looking for somebody that I have not answered for before. Oh, my! one of my favorite people on earth. I'm not crying. It's that my eye is still tearing a little. Okay, hit me. I'd like a card today, please. I'm going to slap you. I'm going to slap you silly, Val. Here's your card. I love Val so much. <laughs> I love Val. Val, I love you. Okay, here's, here's your card for today. <gasps> look at that temperance and balance look how beautiful your body is and that that's your body that's your celestial body look at that I love that your card is all about balance so you must be working really hard and then not working really hard so we have to balance that what are you doing for fun I have a cigarette in this hand and I have a glass of wine in that hand and I have a zoom meeting in front of me so <laughs> that's your card today is temperance temperance and balance Stop indulging yourself. Don't indulge. Don't in. I think it's good to indulge in guilty pleasures because that's kind of like a, that one cancels the other out. I don't know what that means, but it just came to me. But I think that um, 
I think you should be kind to yourself. That's temperance and balance. I think be kind to yourself. Okay. <laughs> and call me later. I want to talk to you. I want to, I miss you. I have so much to talk to you about. I have so much to talk to all of you guys about. Okay. And um, let's see. I'm going to go to somebody I have never talked to before. Also, if you want to book a reading with me, it's really easy. <gasps> Did I tell you that I got the domain? I bought the domain calm the funk down so if you go to I did it myself without my incredible website person Sarah so if you go to calm the funk down dot com it's my website and you just go to offerings or book me or whatever you could book a session and do I see sense peace and resolution amongst humanity after all this change what a great question what a great question do I see let's ask let's ask Let's ask the cards and see what happens. By the way, if you look at the Instagram that I used to, to advertise tonight, those were three past life cards that I pulled and they were absolutely in line with what you're saying. The first one was about war and the wars that we go through and the second was wisdom and it's like a unicorn that's magical and the third one was, I forget, one of you guys tell me, but it was an amazing one, the third one. <laughs> No, I can't remember because I'm all caught up in this. Go look at my Instagram and tell me what that third card was on the thing because I don't want to go look it up. But that's what we're headed towards. So peace and resolution. It's up to us. It's up to us. When you see all these beautiful souls who I hope went home and took showers after because I don't want to see the coronavirus spread. But when you see everybody walking, that's that's all of us. We're one. Think of one soul splintered into all these bodies and think what we can accomplish like that. So do I see it? Yes. Look at the sun. This is the sun card. It looks like graffiti. It looks like somebody drew a giant penis on him or something. But that's maybe we're getting rid of the big dicks in the world because that's in red. But this is the sun. And look at the little two angels up there. This is beautiful. And see that lion's coming in and we are the lions, right? We're coming in and we're going Rawr! and laughing and smiling because we're raising the vibration. We're being kind to one another. So yes, I do see peace and resolution and you have to go through change. You have to, for anything to happen, you have to grow. We all have to work on ourselves. That's it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> little dick energy, right? Napoleon, little dick energy. He who shall remain nameless <laughs> is in power now. Little dick energy. <laughs> Little dicks. No, we need some big dicks. We know what I mean. Right, we, don't, we need our dicks. We need our dicks. I need a dick. <laughs> I, need, I guess I need a vagina too because of that past life thing. I don't know. I don't care. I'm just a soul that got put into this body with a fabulous haircut today today it's fabulous i don't know what it'll be like when i work on it i'm doing the best i can we're all just doing the best we can i love you guys so much i'm gonna put this up on my insta live and i'll be back here next monday next sunday part two of the meditation and it's amazing because i had amazing results and i'm hearing from the people who did who did it with me last night last night was akashic record clearing next week is clearing those people hey like you um Zhang, that wrote about your ex in this life, getting rid of those exes in this life, getting rid of that energy so we can have something new, something new. And it's for men and women. Dana Dentata, you have a ghost dick. We need to release that ghost dick so you can have a real life dick. See? Okay. Love you. I will um, talk to me and also let me know if you want to do, you'll, well, you'll just follow me on Instagram, like read my stuff. You'll see it there and talk to me all the time. Bye. Have a wonderful week. Have a wonderful, enlightened week. Love everyone. We're all one. We are all one. Don't shh us because we are all one. Oh, that's a good one. Don't shh one. Shh one. Okay. Bye.